This is the moment that designers cherish. It's when we can bring our clients home and we can show them how all of the design elements that we've been working on have come together to create their dream home. This is the reveal. board of LTW Design and I'm so excited to bring you inside CR Cove project. Welcome to the entry. This house is so special because it sits right on the water and there's a private beach for my clients that is literally their backyard. So most of the windows face the beach, but in the entry, you don't see it quite yet. When you come in the front door, the first thing you see are these two sculptural vases. And I love them because this kind of felt like an area that could potentially be a challenge since it has this low overhang from the landing of the staircase. We didn't want to put like squeeze artwork in there and we also didn't want to do a console table or bench. We wanted to do something different since this is a beach house and this is a modern beach house. So we chose these oversized floor vases that have a really nice curve and lots and lots of texture. It almost feels like artwork. So what's important to know about this project is it is a beach house and when I think of a beach house I think of just something that should be beautiful and relaxing and really feel effortless. So how do we do beach houses at LTW Design? We will never use stripes, we will never use a shell or the typical things you'll see in a beach house. So to me a beach house means a place that's a refuge where you can go to unwind and appreciate all the natural elements that the coast has to offer. So there's ways that we implement the feeling of living by the water without actually having to put seashells on the counter or things that you would typically see in a beach house. We also like to sneak in little coastal elements into the accessories that we bring into the project. For example, I love this bowl and how it's tapered, but more importantly, how it's rough and feels like a piece of coral. And if you go close up, the texture of it even looks like the pores that you see on porous coral. So I can't wait to take you through the rooms and you'll see how we layer textures and we used a very, very monochromatic palette mixed with oak floors, white, and a little bit of greenery. And that's how we did it. Come take a look. We wanted to bring in some really specific elements into this project. So texture was really important. So you'll see texture throughout the fabrics, the rugs, and even the accessories. So you'll see these two stacked height planters, as well as this bowl. This is one of my favorite bowls. This is actually from Europe and it's hand carved. And no two are the same. As you can see, they have really organic edges, which I love. But pair that natural shape with this really structured book it gives you that nice contrast and juxtaposition. And then we always love to add some live greenery whenever we have the chance. Here we are. <laughs> so as you can see, this is an open floor plan. It's a dream 
beach house. We're calling it a modern coastal vibe. And every window in this house practically faces the water. So there are floor to ceiling water views from the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, and the family room, almost the whole first floor. And it was really important that we didn't block those views or obstruct them in any way. So I wanted to use furniture that was low profile, clean lined, textured, so it felt comfortable and welcoming and added depth to the room, but it didn't seal the show. So here we used two 12 foot long sofas. They are custom, they are huge, but most importantly, they are textured and our clients have five children and one dog. So it may seem scary to have white furniture with a busy house, but if done correctly and strategically, anyone can have the white furniture that they love. This is performance fabric, so it's extremely durable. And one of the elements I love about this sofa, I love this wood trim on the bottom of the sofa. It lines the entire piece and then comes down on the legs and it's a gray washed white oak. So it feels really warm and really casual. And since you won't see a shell or you won't see a stripe or anything that you typically see in a beach home in one of our projects, we don't use those, but what we do use to try and bring in that beach feeling and that natural element are things like this shagreen coffee table. If you look really closely, it has all these little nodules and it almost feels like river rocks or sand or pebbles on the beach. So that felt a little bit coastal to us, along with these white vases that have that soft shape and almost felt like something you would see near the water along with another organic, naturally shaped, hand-carved bowl. So there's always ways to add things you like into your home without doing the typical predictable way, like the shells and the stripes and the navy and white and what we typically see in beach homes. And it was really important in this room that when you're standing in the kitchen and you look this way, since we have the water on the left, we needed something that really grounded this space and didn't seem too bold or too loud. So we used this large, naturally shaped chandelier. It's one of my favorite pieces. And we wanted something here that hung low, but was airy and that you can see through and it really needed to hold its own weight in the space. So it had to be bold, but not too in your face or glossy. So this is really great because this is sculpted wood and it has an organic shape, a natural feel, and it doesn't block the view. And what I love is when you're standing in the kitchen and you look this way, it sits like a piece of art in front of this floor to ceiling mantle. With this gorgeous floor to ceiling fireplace around, it creates your vertical line that goes right to the ceiling and brings your eye up. We didn't want the two sides to have anything that really competed with this. We wanted this to be the centerpiece and the focal point for the room. So we chose pieces, sketches, that are framed with oversized mats. So it really, has that negative space so it doesn't feel busy and it doesn't feel distracting. And then the actual piece, the artwork, is only five by seven, but it's in a 24 inch square frame. So it takes up the space nicely. So the scale of two hung vertically sit nicely with this really oversized surround, but the actual visual of the art that you're looking at is really only five by seven. So it's just a nice way to kind of trick the eye and keep the room looking clean and calm, but adding a little bit of another layer. How nice is this? Right off the living room is your own private beach as your backyard. So anytime you want, you can just go 
look at the water, have a glass of wine, and relax. I could stay here all day, but let's go inside and I'll show you the rest of the house. Right off the living room is this dining area. Most people would probably put a chandelier over the dining table, which we love. However, since you can see it from the entry, we didn't want to block the view. So we let the view steal the show and we kept the chairs low profile and we did a round table because they're great for conversations and gatherings of large parties. So this seats eight people. And again, we were able to use a light fabric that is really textured. It's a thick, knobby white linen and it's very durable. And I wanted to speak to all the curves in this little area here since there's clean straight lines everywhere. All of these curves live together nicely amongst all the straight lines. These are hand carved, they're from France and they were a rare find. We picked them out at this little store that imports uh, all these pieces and this it was one of a kind so we had to grab them and I love how the curves sit nicely here and that they're a matte finish so they're not glossy so it feels very earthy and natural and is in line with everything else in the room. I chose to use a round dining table here because I didn't want to block the flow and with the two kitchen islands being really large rectangles, it felt redundant to have a third here, even if it was a table at chair height. So instead, we went with this round 60 inch dining table in a nice gray oak, so it's really warm. And you'll see, a lot of people think you can't mix wood tones, but you'll see we did it here throughout the home. So we love that white oak light color, everybody loves. But we didn't want to have white oak floors, white oak kitchen, white oak on the ceiling, and then white oak furniture everywhere. It would just feel a like a little bit too much and too flat. So instead, we paired up the white oak with this warm gray oak in the furniture. And it just really creates this nice blend and it feels really just welcoming and effortless. You'll see the white oak on the base of the sofa, on the entry console, on the counter stools, and on this table, and a few other places throughout the home. What I love about this kitchen are the two enormous islands. One is completely functional, and the other one we treat it as a dining table. So it's a big family that lives here and when entertaining guests, they'll need extra seating. So it's right off of the dining area. This serves as another dining table. We have eight counter stools. And I love these stools. They are a director style chair. And again, we used a monochromatic color tone in the white family and this is textured and performance fabric of course. My favorite is how the fabric wraps around the back. So this is great because you can have eight people sitting here eating and eight people sitting there eating and everybody feels like they're in the same space. We used a lot of contrast in the accessories so on top of the smooth counters we put this textured concrete bowl and I love again how we played a lot with the curved angle next to the really straight lines. So just even in this space we have the really straight clean lined kitchen island, the straight lined director chair stools and then curves in the pendants, curves in a lot of the accessories and that's just in this one little area. So if you look, you'll keep an eye and you'll notice there's, there's a lot of that mix layered in. And that really creates a nice effortless feel. I love the brass poles. It feels very soft and ethereal. And again, to contrast this really smooth countertop we used a lot of vintage pieces. This is a vintage pot and it's very textured. I love throwing greenery 
wherever we can. Like over here on the island, we laid just a bunch of greenery on the table next to the bowl. If you're ever entertaining, that's a great way to make the space come to life. This family room has beautiful water views and it has this large sectional so the whole family can veg out, watch a movie, and just relax. And to bring in that natural beach element in this modern beach house, we used this really cool organic shaped coffee table. And if you look closely, it does resemble a shell, but it's not a shell, but it resembles a shell. <laughs> With a wall of windows looking at the water, there was this little area where we had drywall. And we didn't want to leave a blank space, so what we did was we added this really oversized, large piece of abstract art, and it has the nice blue tones to mirror with the water. And then I love down, down here, this sculptural piece, you'll see that I love sculpture. And anytime we can use something that's low profile but bold, we will. And this side table is one of my absolute favorites because it looks like a piece of art. It has the straight lines, but it also has the curves. So it's cohesive with everything else going on in here. And we top that with a little vintage pot. And you can see it's marked up and worn and that's what we love about vintage pieces, no, no two are alike. And then a little pop of color. And this you can, you know, you can change that weekly if you like. But we love how this just kind of creates a nice little moment here on the side table. This is a little area where I love any chance you can to and make a space come to life, especially when you're entertaining, is just buy greenery at the store, pick up a few bunches and just lay it on the counter. It's so nice to just grab a piece or a few bundles of greenery stems and you can just plop them down right on the counter next to the bar here and it looks really pretty and it brings the space to life. But we can do it, we did it on the kitchen table, you can do it on a coffee table, anywhere you like. Let's take a peek upstairs. Welcome to the primary bedroom. This room is so beautiful and has water views for as far as you can see. And we kept the color palette in here very calm and very neutral. It's white, white oak, and black. So this bed is upholstered and it's white. And then we layer that with a black, oversized, modern piece of artwork. It's actually photography, and I love how the birds just feel very natural and they're kind of flying in the air in no particular pattern. We really also wanted to bring in the black in this room with the sconces. So these are great and they're super functional. And they speak to the frame on the artwork, they speak to the black metal windows throughout, and the little areas where we kind of snuck black into this room. On the floor we have this braided white wool rug and it's really warm, really cozy on your feet. And you can see it's not a really hot sunny day right now, so, but it still looks beautiful. And even though it's a beach house, we layered in some fur throws for the cooler weather. And it feels really calm and pretty in here, even on a cloudy day. And this chair is our favorite. I love this chair because it swivels, so it's really functional. And we wanted to be able to have someone sit here and talk to someone, maybe laying on the bed, or if you want to read a book with this really minimal book light. 
or you can swivel around and enjoy the view. I think I probably would swivel around and just stare at the water all day. I love this ceiling because it's vaulted and creates more ceiling height, more room, an airy feeling. And what we decided to do is put white oak flooring on the ceiling just so that it wasn't a sea of white in here and it speaks to all the other white oak that we have throughout the house. Wood floors on the ceiling, it's one of my favorite things right now. <laughs> Highly recommend. I love this piece of artwork because like everything else in this house, it's naturally shaped, it has texture, it's made of plaster, Someone painted it by hand and then just blended the colors. And so it matches our color palette here. It matches that texture and feel we want and it just creates more depth in the space. So I'm standing by this beautiful tub, but even the tub in the primary bath has a water view. Bath caddies are our favorite. I love taking baths personally, so these bath caddies I use in a lot of projects. I like to encourage my clients who are not bath takers to start, and this is very visually pleasing to the eye, but also it's really functional. So you can put a book there, you can put your bath salts, your soap, towel, anything that you might need while you're relaxing in the tub at hand's reach. I love putting really spa-like accessories on the countertops in bathrooms. So we have a nice Turkish linen washcloth here, a piece of natural handmade soap, a little bit of greenery, and a beautiful nice marble bowl where you can take your watch off, put your rings in so it's functional as well. I really love how at any time of day, in any given room in this house, the light comes in and it creates this beautiful shadow effect on the white oak floors. And it's just really pretty to the eye and it changes from moment to moment. This is such a nice moment coming down this staircase and how the stairs wrap around this beautiful fixture that we took the time to hang at each different height so that the right piece could be seen from the right angle. And what I love about it is it kind of cascades down this two-story staircase and every glass ball is a different size. So it doesn't feel too formal, it feels very casual and beautiful. Here at our Cove project, one of the largest and most important design elements was the natural light. We really wanted to choose fabrics that highlight that natural light. Fabrics that were interesting enough and textured enough to stand out when it's in full sun and they don't get washed out. And you can still see the high level and low level of the fabric. And equally as important is at nighttime. So when it's dark out, it's really dark out since it's all glass. So we really want to use light fixtures inside the house that create a nice warm glow that also make the textures really highlighted. What's so great about a house that has about 80% glass is that during the day it's bright, it's beautiful, and everything shines from the natural light. But at night it's still even more beautiful and the whole house transforms because you have the dark sky and it really makes the interiors have a more moody vibe. So instead of putting large pieces of artwork throughout the house, we really decided to let the exterior serve as the artwork. And what's so beautiful is that every season it's different, even day to day.
There's no reason a beach house can't be elevated, sophisticated, and collected. To me, Cove brings this together, the best of relaxation against a palette of refined styling. When you have a view like this from nearly every space in the house, it's hard to go wrong. Thanks for coming by. I hope you loved seeing the inside as much as we love designing it.